Hi, I'm Lucy Bridge and I'm a makeup artist from London. Now, you're from the north of England. I am, yes, Lancashire. Is it Blackburn? Blackburn Preston, yes. Amazing. I always used to go to Manchester and go to gigs and me and my friends would get dressed up and we'd do mad makeup. I mean, from the age of 12, I got a tattoo. I would dye my hair, get piercings. I just kind of wanted to shock people and I enjoyed doing that. Going out to clubs, was that, a, was that a big thing for you? Oh, I started partying and going clubbing very young. And yeah, we'd go to like the mosher clubs, mm -hmm. the rock clubs. I absolutely loved it. They're probably about the best times of my life. Yeah. <laughs> I did um, a two year course in Manchester um, for makeup. That's kind of where I was like testing the waters. I'd hire a photographer, get a stylist involved, get a, a friend to model, and I would recreate a whole shoot. And then that's when I knew that I wanted to move to London yeah. and do editorials yeah. and be in fashion. I'd go to the Mac store in Carnaby Street, mm -hmm. buy the glitters, the mixing mediums, the paints, and I would put the entire contents of my bag on my face. It was the club nights as well at the time. Everybody was like literally pushing themselves to the limits. Like if you turned up natural and like just like your normal self, like people would be like, what are you doing? Yeah. Like, yeah, everyone wanted to shock each other. That's where I met Charles Jeffrey. Yeah. I mean, he was super young at the time. He must have been about 15. Yeah. So you were, you were real quite a community at the time. Yes. Yeah, yeah very much so. Yeah. My instinctive style also came from when I was shot by Tim Walker. So that was 10 years ago, This pretty much as soon as I moved to London. I was on the number 55 bus going from Shoreditch to Tottenham Court Road. And I had bright orange hair, had glitter eyebrows, I remember that day. Um, I mean, I looked mental. And I could see two people on the bus looking at me. And at that time, like, people would always stare. Yeah. And sometimes I'd be like, oh God, like, what are they staring at? Like, get over it, it's just like a bit of makeup. These two guys were looking at me so much and I was like, what are they looking at? That is creepy. And then he gets off the bus and he hands me a note and it said, hi, I'm Tim Walker, I'd love to take your photo. Oh, shut up, what are the chances? I know, I was like, I rang my mum on the phone, I was like, oh my God, I think Tim Walker has just like stopped me in the street. Did you do your own makeup for that story? Yeah. You started off modelling mm. for Tim Walker. Yes. And now you're working with Tim Walker as a makeup artist. Yeah, it took a few, quite a number of years for me to actually start working with him. But now it's like I work with him pretty much every month. The um, cover you did with Beth Ditto. Yes, probably one of the best shoot days I think I've ever been on. She is just so punk. Like yeah. I was like, okay, let's bleach your eyebrows. And she was like, oh, babes, let's just shave them. Hand me the razor. Yeah. I was like, dream come true. Yeah. So the oh. world is your oyster where you want to put Literally. those eyebrows back in. <laughs> So the look I created today was the look I had done for the Charles Jeffrey and Mac collaboration. We got inspired by the Royal Flush and we wanted to put some more feminine and beautiful touches onto it. He loves a flush, doesn't he, Charles? He loves a flush. I wanted to talk to you about your colour palette. It feels very unique. Yeah, I feel like, because, I mean, when I started experimenting with makeup, I always just used to use it straight out of the packet. I think as grown as an artist and you realise like, oh, you can mix and make like endless colours. And I think that's what's so amazing about the matte colours. And I find even when you do something that's kind of quite raw, mm -hmm. you know, it looks really painterly or it looks really splashed. Yeah, I can't help myself sometimes. But that still <laughs> seems to like, there's a lot of preparation that, that goes into that kind of spon spontaneity. I'm a Virgo, so in life I'm very organised. Like my kit is spotless. When it comes to designing makeup, up. I do like having a reference, but I do feel like I get a lot of my inspirations when I'm just stood in front of somebody and I can see like the model's face, skin tone, textures, like the bones in her face. I know my kit very well yeah. and I know what product will work. Um, I mean, I love working with like the Macroma cakes because you can just create so many different textures. They stay on, which is good for a a show or a yeah. shoot when everyone's sweating and everything's a bit manic. Your preparation in order that you can go onto a set and be completely spontaneous. I like once I've like made custom colours for a shoot, they'll all get decanted into palettes, so I have them again for light like, in the future. Mm -hmm. You know, I think the way that the idea of what's ugly and what's beautiful are being kind of put into question. Do you, do you feel like you're kind of at the centre of that? Yeah, I definitely do feel like I'm at the centre of that. Even like down to like all the models that yeah. Tim and Charles get. 
They're all so interesting. They've all got a story to tell. It is something really amazing to be part of. I think it's like very exciting and like things are definitely moving forward um, in makeup and in fashion. Mm. Not bad for a club kid from Blackburn. Exactly. <laughs> <laughs> I fell on the right tracks. Yeah. <laughs>